Bro, this game is low-key dog shit. The expectations for Tekken 8 were high. I knew the gameplay was going to be stupid since Tekken 7 was successful. They were going to double down on the stupid mechanics and shit. But I was most excited about the customization and character options. And what we got is basically some low-effort, underwhelming, lazy shit. This customization is absolute dog shit. Character panel arts are dog shit. I can literally find better character drawings on Google. Those ugly-ass drawings like, what the fuck, man? Don't even get me started with the avatar skins and worthless, stupid-ass shop items. Instead of investing effort and resources on giving us the best character customization Tekken has ever had, they wasted resources on stupid-ass walking character midgets and worthless-ass items that nobody cares about. What the fuck is this, bruh? If this is all they could do, after all the success of Tekken 7, with all the budget they could ever need, then wow, people at this company are legit a bunch of incompetent idiots. They wasted tons of budget resources on stupid story mode CGI cutscenes that nobody really cares about. This is a fucking fighting game. Gameplay is all that matters, and all people care about. I couldn't give two shits about that stupid ass story mode. Who the hell cares about that garbage? Give me a mind-blowing character customization. I don't give a shit about avatars and CGI story cutscenes. That shit is not even good, man. That story was garbage. And the character stories are absolute dog shit. Fenway standing on the wing of a flying airplane and shit. Jumping off, diving, kicking into the ground and shit. Oh my god, the stupidity. That's how you use the budget for the game? Dumbass CGI cutscenes? Harada and Murray, you need to get the fuck out of the business. It's not the stupidity of the gameplay and character balance that really bothers me about Tekken 8. I can deal with that, as long as other aspects of the game are good like character customization and options, but those are absolute dog shit, which makes coping with every flaw of the game hard. Seems like nobody over at Namco has any idea what is best for the game. From the gameplay to the content, they are absolute fucking clueless. I think they're trying to copy NetherRealm Studios and Mortal Kombat, thinking if they spend a lot of resources and effort on CGI story cutscenes, then the game will generate similar profits or some shit. Literally all Namco has done is trying to copy Capcom and NetherRealms. Now they're about to release more story clips about Heihachi and shit. Bruh, at this point, just make a fucking movie and focus the budget of the game on the actual fucking gameplay. I don't care for CGI cutscenes in a goddamn fighting game. Stop wasting the fucking budget from the profits on useless shit. Harada was talking about how much money it takes to create just one stage, like half a million dollars or some shit. Dude, if that's the case, then how about don't waste that money on CGI clips and stupid-ass avatar bullshit and focus the profits on shit that matters, like the fucking customization and game content. Don't talk to me about how much money it takes to do this and that when you're wasting the fucking budget on stupid shit. Why the fuck is the customization so limited and poor? Are we in fucking 1991? I know why. It's because they wasted effort on the fucking shop and the microtransactions shit. That's the only reason the stupid midget characters exist. So they can sell you midget character skins and shit. This is why the customization has barely any outfits and clothes. They just put the bare minimum effort into that shit. Throw a few outfits in there, some t-shirts, some pants, some jackets, and call it a day. Some idiots will say like, oh, the customization is good because you can make your character look like fucking Leon from Resident Evil or a fucking Power Ranger. Dude, that doesn't mean the customization is good. Why the fuck would I want my character to look like characters from other games anyway? If I want to play as Leon, I'll play Resident Evil, not Tekken. I just hate how there's barely anything about Tekken 8 that keeps me entertained and pleased. Other than I beat some fucking dickheads in quick matches. If you ask me the customization should have like 30 fucking haircuts and at least 20 fucking unique outfits, and every outfit should be customizable, now that's character customization. Instead they give us only 4 outfits, but hey, at least you can change the colors on that motherfucker, right? Oh man, bruh, I want to slap someone at Namco, I want to slap Harada, like dude is this all you can do? Get the fuck out. This shit is insulting. The game gets boring, literally, just because you can barely customize shit. And if they love CGI cutscenes so much then at least don't make them stupid.
Don't show me stupid retarded shit like Feng jumping off a fucking airplane and shit. Show me something cool like Feng doing some kung fu, not some bad comedy shit. Why do they always he try to be funny? Like Leroy's dog pissing on Feng's leg. Aha, so funny bro. They legit wasted money on making that dumb shit. Oh my god bro, I can't. I don't know what else to say about my disappointment in how Namco has managed Tekken 8. My expectations about the game content specifically about customization were through the roof. And these idiots have let me down big time. I should have known these incompetent idiots can't even make allowing you to select which character appears on the main menu. Like a fucking modder was able to do that shit. Yeah, this game is run by idiots, bruh. When Tekken 9 comes out, I know what to expect now. Pretty much the same shit with different graphics and different stuff sprinkled here and there, and more idiotic-ass CGI cutscene. I can't with these people, bruh. Can't with this company. battle <laughs> round one fight <laughs> Final round, fight! Oh. Fight! Oh. Fight. Oh. 